This is skills practice 45 for equilibrium practice done by Trav Zacher. Alright, question number one is asking what is meant when we say that the reaction has reached equilibrium? When we say that uh, reaction has reached equilibrium, it's defined as the rate of formation of products is equal to the rate of formation of the reactants. Question number two, consider the following chemical equation 2N2O5 goes to and comes back 2N2 plus 5O2. At equilibrium, the concentration of O2 is 0.45 molar and the concentration of N2O5 is 1.2 molar and the concentration of N2 is 0.71 molar. Calculate the equilibrium constant. Mm -hmm. So first you want to take 2N2 and you want to um, write down the equation and you want to ice it out. But since the equilibrium is already given, so for the 2N2O5 you have 1.2 for the 2N2 you have 0.71, for the 5O2 you have 0.45. You want to set up an equation to calculate the equilibrium. So you have K, which is equal to N2, and you raise and you square that, and then you have O2, which is raised to the fifth power, all over N2O5 squared. And when you plug these values in, you should get out an answer of 0 0.00645 molar. Question number three. Um, in the experiment, a 0.1 mole of H2 and 0.1 mole of I2 are mixed in a 3 liter container according to the following equation. If K for this reaction is equal to 50, what would the equilibrium concentration of I2, H2, and HIV? So first you want to ice ice baby the problem out. So you have H2 plus I2 going to 2HI. So you know that you have the mole of 0.1 equal for I2 and H2 and you put it all over 3 because that's a liter so you want moles over liters in order to get uh, molarity and the 2HI is just 0 that crosses out for the concentrations you have minus x and minus x for both H2 and I2 and you have a positive 2x for the 2HI so for the final equilibrium you get out 0 0.0073 and 0 0.0073 for both H2 and I2 and for 2HI you get out 0 0.0514 and you could also set this in the reason in the reason you can solve this is because you are given the original K value and you could just plug it into your graphing calculator. Question number four how many moles of each substance in a one liter vessel if you start off with 0.5 moles of H2 and 0.5 moles of I2 to synthesize HI you have K equal to 49.7 Again, just like the previous equation, you want to ice it out. You have H2 plus I2 going to 2HI. The I is going to be 0.5 and 0.5 for both H2 and I2. And again, like the last problem, you're going to have 0 for HI. Concentrations, again, are going to be the same. Minus X, minus X, and a positive X on the other side. And the equilibrium is what you're solving for, so you don't know what it is. So you take 49.7, set it equal to H2 multiplied by I2, all over HI squared. So into your graphing calculator, you want to plug in 0.5 minus x squared all over 2x. And you subtract the 49.4, 49.7 over. So you find the zeros on your graphing calculator, and you just plug and chug basically for the values when 49.7 is equal to h2 times i2 all over hi squared. So you should get out the hydrogen to and i2 to be the same, at, at equal to 0 0.111 molar and the HI to come out to be 0.778. Your final question is question number five. You, you, you need to consider the following reaction. If the initial concentration of PCL5 is equal to one mole over a liter, what is the equilibrium composition um, of the gaseous mixture? K is equal to 0 0.0211. So basically what you do for this equation is again hit the 0 0.0211 equivalent to the PCL3 multiplied by the CL2 all over the PCL5. So for this equation, unlike the other one, you're going to have different values. So you do the x squared all over the 1 minus 2x. And again, like the last equation, subtract over the 0 0.0211. After you plug that into your calculator and find the zero values, after doing that, you plug it right back into the Clay equation of equilibrium to figure out that PCL5 is equal to 0.6865 molar. PCL3 and CL2 will have the same value of 0.135 molar. Again, this is a plug and chug method and it should not take too much effort if you get the hang of things.